Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you my new toy which is inside this box. So let's open the box and see what is inside it. So this is the device and as you might guess this is a fume extractor for soldering. Uh, I've been using a fan with a carbon filter but uh, I've been soldering more and more recently. So I decided to buy something more serious. So this is the device which I bought. And within a few minutes I will uh, pop the hood and uh, show you what is inside. And of course I will also show it during operation. But uh, let's quickly go through the accessories. So this is one of the most important accessories. This is the, let's call it bamboo tube. So it's uh, totally foldable and everything. And when it is fully extended, it is 120 centimeters long. So it is quite long. It's enough uh, for most of the uh, places. And then we have this rubber uh, piece, which goes on the end of this uh, tube, which I recently showed you. So this helps to yeah, suck in the fume uh, more efficiently. Then we have a power cable, of course. It's just a regular uh, power cable. This will be used to power this box. And then it also comes with these wheels, uh, which can be mounted at the bottom of this box and the corresponding tool to mount the wheels. So let's go a bit closer to this box and let's see what is inside it. So this is the top view and this is where the fumes will go in. So I open the latches. And now this is the inside. So coming back to the top side, it has this uh, foam, which uh, basically seals uh, the connection between uh, the body and uh, the cover or lid. So this is very nice. And then inside this, we have the filter. And uh, basically the filtering goes from inside and out. So the air comes in here. And the first thing that the air encounters is this uh, cloth. And actually I forgot to show, but I have uh, four or five more of this, four to be precise. So this also uh, came with the device. So this is the first uh, stage of the filter, uh, let's say like that. And uh, this is nothing else. It's just a trap for particles. So if uh, some uh, bigger, a dust particle or whatever particle uh, enters uh, the, the filter, then they will be trapped in this. And then uh, in this concentric arrangement, this is the next part. So you can see that this is another uh, set of filter. And if I'm not wrong, this is a HIPAA uh, filter. So it can uh, trap the smaller uh, particles, which can uh, potentially hurt your lungs. So this is very nice. And then the last stage is here, which uh, you can guess from the discoloration is, or not discoloration, but the color is that uh, uh, filled with activated carbon. So then uh, this stage of the filter basically captures the most uh, harmful uh, substances, which are the VOCs or volatile organic compounds. And those are the stuff which uh, come when you, for example, solder and you evaporate the uh, uh, rosin. So then those VOCs get trapped by the activated uh, carbon or activated charcoal particles inside this filter. So now we have the empty enclosure. So that's what we have here. But uh, I'm going to remove this uh, lid. You can see that there are four screws here because underneath uh, lies the uh, motor and I want to look at it. So let me unscrew these four uh, bolts and then we can look at uh, the content behind this uh, panel. So I removed the bolts. So let's see what is under this panel. Well, uh, not too much. Uh, the motor is here. Actually, this is the fan. You can see the blades of the fan. So this is a centrifugal fan. So then uh, what happens is that uh, the air goes down. It actually goes under this uh, panel. 
and then it gets uh, through this hole and then the centrifugal fan uh, sucks the air outwards and surprise surprise there is an opening at the bottom of this uh, enclosure and uh, then the hopefully cleaned air will be expelled uh, through this uh, yeah, opening and now uh, since we are looking at the bottom uh, I can tell you and you can probably see that this is fully flat and maybe there are these uh, four bolts which uh, protrude a little bit and uh, that's that so actually you must install the wheels or you must install some feet or pro probably some rubber feet here uh, otherwise uh, the fan uh, exhaust will be blocked so uh, keep in mind that if you buy this uh, thing uh, you must install the wheels you cannot just put this on a flat surface and actually for fun I can remove this back panel just to see uh, what is inside so actually this is the motor and here are the electronics so I can zoom in So the fan is grounded and then uh, the ground comes in here and then it goes to the panel as well and I assume that uh, through the screws which uh, fix the fan to the housing the housing is also grounded as well and then uh, there is the uh, controlling electronics I won't go into details because I have no idea what is on it and I I'm not really qualified to inspect it uh, I believe that uh, diode Gunwild would be a better candidate to reverse engineer this but uh, yeah so that's what we have here and on the other side of this panel uh, we have the button so uh, that's that and there is a little foam here which you might capture so this is just to I guess uh, decrease the noise of this device uh, yeah and then that's that So let me quickly reassemble this thing and then uh, we will see how this thing works. So I installed the wheels on this thing and uh, reassembled it. So now it moves nicely. And uh, you might see that uh, I have already connected the cable there. So then obviously the next step is to turn this on. And uh, first I don't attach the tube uh, just so we can hear uh, how loud it is. So this is the first level. Second. And third. So it's mildly loud. So let's try it again. It has quite some strength already on the first level. So it's a bit loud, I think, but uh, it will be under my table and it will be not as close to my head and my ears as now it is located. So that's really nice. So I put this thing uh, to its uh, place where I want uh, to have it. And then we can uh, test it. So I can check the sound levels when it is nearly under the table and it's further away from my ears. And we can also try to generate some smoke and see how efficiently this thing can uh, suck it away. So here's the mouthpiece and I have an incense stick here, which will be our smoke generator. Uh, I just don't feel like wasting solder for this experiment and uh, this even smokes more so just to give an impression now the distance is about 13 centimeter from the mouthpiece as you can see and uh, there is enough smoke here 
Uh, probably you cannot see it uh, as good on the video as I can see it like uh, real life, but uh, trust me that there is enough smoke. So I turn this on just to see how it works. So if I put my hand under the smoke, you can see the contrast. So it's, it's here. And already at uh, the lowest strength level, it can suck in the smoke very well. So as you could see, even at uh, 20 centimeters, roughly, and at the lowest uh, strength level, it could uh, suck in all the uh, fumes or smoke, uh, which is very nice because uh, then I can be far enough uh, from this mouthpiece. So I have enough uh, room uh, with the soldering. So for example, I, I can solder whatever, and this can be far enough even at the lowest uh, strength level, uh, which allows me to uh, move freely or I can put more tools I can put the soldering uh, thing there or the heads or, or whatever tools and I can still have enough space uh, to, to solder if you if you follow my videos you can see that I'm mostly working with uh, smaller things so uh, this enough uh, this space is more, more than enough and I can move it further away uh, the only let's say drawback is that I have to run it at a higher power level, so it will be a bit louder, but uh, it uh, removes the potentially harmful uh, fumes, which is nice. So then uh, this was the review. I took a bunch of pictures of this thing, uh, so please check my website, because I put some uh, description there and uh, some more uh, discussion. And if you want to buy this uh, thing, please use my affiliate link, because that will help me to yeah, buy similar things and uh, make the quality of the content I publish uh, hopefully better. Uh, that is up to you to see if the content is uh, getting better or not. And if you want to further support me, please consider joining my Patreon. That further helps me to improve the quality of the content on my channel. So I hope that this video was useful to you. I hope you learned something and see you in the next video.